Greetings, not from Tromoville, but from fabulous, futuristic, fantastic Fright Picks. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, and I'm here to present Snow Shark. And as everyone knows, there is Snow Shark like a Snow Shark. The director of Snow Shark, Sam Qualiano, prepared himself for Snow Shark by subsequently being the assistant director on Troma's Return to Newcomb High, Volume 1 and Volume 2. You see, there are actually fossils of snow sharks that lived thousands of years ago high up in the Alps, where they were able to find many, many, many cinematic opportunities. Sam Qualiano spent $50 million to make this incredible movie and to make the unbelievable combinations of snow and shark without putting in one ski. That creature must be prehistoric from the Cretaceous period. This is so exciting. No, this is terrifying. There's some kind of carnivorous dinosaur out there that's either scared off or killed off all the wildlife. Oh, I swear to God, I saw a shark came up and pulled away. It's so cool. Unfortunately, there were many people who did not find snow shark believable. They did not believe there actually were fossils of snow sharks high up in the Alps. So Sam Qualiano consulted not only Albert Einstein, but Dolphin Man right here, who he met uh, skiing, skiing in, uh, when he was at Sundance at the uh, Deer, Deer Valley uh, Ski Lodge. Dolphin Man, do you endorse this theory that there were sharks living high up in the Alps who, in fact, did burrow beneath the snow. Dolphin Man says uh, he thinks it sounds finny, but in fact, uh, specifically speaking, it is uh, true. You damn well know it's the shark, and don't pretend that it's something else. <laughs> Yes, in fact, everything that I've said and that uh, Dolphin Man has endorsed is totally true. There's only one little detail that, in fact, uh, Snow Shark uh, is not actually a shark in the movie, but a ghost. So now that I've spoiled it for you, sit back and swim in the delightful, hauntingly scary Snow Shark from Fright Picks.